the second thing in the maximum minima that if the product of positive number is constant if the product of positive number is constant then their sum is minimum then their sum is minimum when all the numbers are equal i repeat once again if the product of positive numbers are constant then their sum is minimum when all the numbers are equal let's take a couple of application of this one now for example if i say if the number is like this one a into b into c is equal to 8 and we need to find out of course it has been given that a b c all are positive and we need to find out what is the minimum value of a plus b plus c so now product of these three number is 8 so can i say all the numbers should be equal so this is 2 into 2 into 2 so a equal to 2 b equal to 2 c equal to 2 we get a plus b plus c as 6 even if we need to find out the minimum value of let's say if i say that a into b is equal to 5 and i need to find out what is the minimum value of 5a let's say instead of this one make it a cube b square is equal to 5 we need to find out what is the minimum value of 5a plus 2b so in this case also i need to follow the same method I need to find out the minimum value of 5a plus 2b. Here the power of a is 3, so divide 5a in three parts. I can write down this as a 5a by 3 plus 5a by 3 plus 5a by 3, and divide 2b in two parts, so that will be comes out to be b plus b. And we are supposed to find out the minimum value. If I need to find out the minimum value of this expression, I must know what is the product of all these five numbers. so the product of these five numbers that will be comes out to be 5a by 3 into 5a by 3 into 5a by 3 into b into b which will be 125 by 27 a cube b square now 125 by 27 a cube b square a cube b square is what 5 so that will be comes out to be 625 by 27 now product of five number is 625 by 27 and all the number must be same so if i assume all the numbers are k i'll get k raised to power 5 is equal to 625 by 27 or from here i can say that k is equal to nothing but fifth root of 625 by 27 now once i get that k is equal to fifth root of 625 by 27 theek hai and this is k 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 So if I add k five times, the put the sum will be comes out to be five k. Now if the sum is equal to five k, we know the value of k. Put it here. That will be comes out to be five into fifth root of six hundred twenty-five by twenty-seven. So this is my final answer. This is the minimum product. Sorry, minimum sum. Of 5a plus 2b here in this case. So these are the two important things. Sum is constant, product is maximum, and the product is constant, sum is minimum. The next thing in the maximum minima is. the application of this one that x plus 1 by x is always greater than equal to 2 if x is positive x plus 1 by x is always greater than equal to 2 if x is positive for example if i say what is the minimum value of a plus b plus c plus 1 upon a plus b plus c we need to find out the minimum value Now remember in this case the minimum value is nothing but this will be nothing but k. If I take this as a x, this will be one by x. So straight away you can say that the minimum value of this expression is two. This is x plus one by x, which is equal to two. Similarly, if I say 
p square plus 2p plus 1 into q square plus 2q plus 1 or 3q into r square plus 5r plus 1 divided by pqr. And we need to find out what is the minimum value of this expression. So, for finding the minimum value of this expression, what we can do? Write down your P, write down your Q and your R. Divide it. So, if I divide, I will get the value as P plus 2 plus 1 by P. This is nothing but Q plus 3 plus 1 by Q. And this is R plus 5 plus 1 by R. Now, if you look at your p plus 1 by p, the minimum value of p plus 1 by p is 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 into q plus 1 by q, the minimum value is 2, so 2 plus 3 is 5 and r plus 1 by r, the minimum value is 2, so 2 plus 5 is 7. So, the minimum value of this expression will be equal to 4 into 5 into 7, which is equal to 140. So, these are the certain application of this particular logic x plus 1 by x which is always greater than or equal to 2. So, these are the couple of the things which we can discuss it in a maxima and minima besides the maxima and minima of quadratic equation and the mod equation which we had discussed earlier. So, these are the all the topics in the algebra which we can discuss in the three to four sessions depending on the pecs or pin batches. Okay, thank you.